Okay, so I am going to walk you through what you need to do now that you've finished lecture. So you should have already listened to the lecture on the media that I gave. Um, and then you're gonna go over here and click on this media analysis guide. So once you've done that, you'll see a repeat of the video I'm making for you right now under the start here box. Um, so once you've done that, once you've listened to me go through what I want you to do next, the, the thing you're gonna do after that is go over here to this podcast um, that I did. So you're gonna listen to this podcast. It's with Elizabeth Chuck. She's a journalist for NBC News. And she's gonna talk about uh, media in terms of journalism and print media. And she's also gonna talk about what the term fake news means and um, how that fits with uh, reporting and media. Then what you're gonna do is I wanted to give you an example of how um, scholars break down media and break down pop culture. So the first thing you're gonna do is listen to a podcast with Dr. Kenitra Brooks and Dr. Camila Martin. Um, they are authors of a book called The Lemonade Reader. Um, so start with listening to their podcast and the discussion I had with them about Beyonce's album, Lemonade. If you're not familiar with Lemonade, first of all, welcome to, th to 2020. You should have known about it like four years ago, but whatever, we'll catch you up, it's fine. Uh, if you're not familiar with Lemonade, we talk about three different videos within the visual album that is Lemonade. We talk about Hold Up, Sorry, and Formation. So as we talk, if you need to pause the podcast, here's the three videos that we talk about. Um, and this will give you an idea of how scholarship sort of breaks down a piece of pop culture. The second example I have of scholarship breaking down pop culture is a discussion of the book Hillbilly Elegy. Um, so here's your second example. You're going to read this discussion of the book Hillbilly Elegy, um, and then you're going to listen to an uh, NPR story that was done about the book, and you're going to listen. Then you're going to listen to a, a third podcast um, talking about Hillbilly Elegy and how it applies to the real life of people living in Appalachia. Now, I lived in Virginia for a long time. I learned very quickly that it's not Appalachia; it's Appalachia. So that's why I pronounce it that way. And then once you, you're done with all of that, you're going to start working on homework too. Um, I hope this helps. Please email me or let me know if you have any questions. Bye.